So ahead of tomorrow night's game against Reading, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. As I previewed this game a couple of weeks ago before the snow came, I thought that I would ask some of my subscribers and some other YouTubers and some of my family to give their thoughts on Wolves team at the moment. And there will be changes, I imagine, from uh, Saturday's team is Villa to the game tomorrow night. And personally, I'll give my thoughts at the end, but here's a few clips from the people who I've asked. So the YouTubers, if you want to go and subscribe to them, we've got Finners, we've got Dave as a party, and we've got Dazzling Dave on the channel. We've also got uh, Gulraj Kular, who runs Molly Musings blog. Go and check out his blog. The links are in the descriptions. The other videos are from my friends and family. Obviously, I think Nuno's going to have to make some changes. I think we really lacked any attacking or anything going forward on Saturday. So I think Leo Bonatini for me is going to be dropped. I wouldn't mind seeing the Costa, Jota, Cavalero front three again. I think when Costa came on, he looked quite lively on Saturday. But again, I wouldn't mind Benny Kofobi there. Just something a little bit... Uh, just someone you know that's going to be in and around the area who, who knows where the back of the net is. He showed that against Leeds with a fantastic finish and he's created some promising chances beforehand in other games too, despite him not putting it into the back of the net. I think uh, Danny Barr... He's had a lot of uh, grief as well over the weekend. He was very poor on Saturday, so I think um, Ryan Bennett will come in for him. But again, Ryan Bennett made a couple of errors, errors so maybe a surprise move back in for Courtney House. I'm not sure, though. Um, I think this is probably his best chance of maybe breaking into the team. But I think other than that, uh, I've seen a few... Uh, Maybe Sace and Neves back together in the midfield. I don't think Ndai and Neves... Although ndai has been fairly solid, I don't think those two work brilliantly together. I think Sace was always someone that works a little bit better with Neves. So I think those are the changes that I'd make. I'm still confident about Wall seeing sort of the remaining fixtures. If we can get two wins here, I think we're still on for promotion. Um, and I think they're very, very much two winnable games. So I've been asked to give my thoughts on any changes that would be made to the uh, the Wolves starting lineup for the games against Reading and Burton following the real disappointment result against Villa at the weekend. To me, um, at the back, um, you've got to swap out Danny Barth. He's a great guy. He's a captain. He's you know local lad. He's passionate about the club, but he was out. He was really a weak link against Villa, uh, and we really need more of a ball playing defender. The way the style that we play, Danny's a good defender back against the wall but he's not necessarily the best passer of the ball um, so Bennett or per perhaps Miranda to come in for that in the middle I think Saiz and uh, to come in alongside Neves and Endai to drop out I think when them two have played together it's worked and up front I really would like to see finally a start for Benica Fobi. Uh Leo Bonatini's a, a great little player but he's not scored for a bit he didn't do anything at the weekend Benex proved he can score. I think he's earned to start. So, be going into this game off the back of a really sort of shell shock of a defeat. Um, and I don't think you could argue with the team selection that Nuno put out on Saturday, especially off the back of the way we played against Leeds on Wednesday. Um, but there's an argument to be made for a number of players coming in. Um, first and foremost, I'd suggest Benicophobi gets a start. Um, I have champion Leo Bonatini's cause um, for a lot of the season but the way he played against Villa just just smacked of a player absolutely short shot of confidence and you know he's not doing the most simple things when it comes to just trying to get a strike on goal he's trying to make everything absolutely sort of set up in, in the perfect scenario for him to then find a the net a phobie coming in would change things a little bit he's not really that player that's going to come towards the ball as often as uh, Bonatini does but you know, he's a goal threat at the end of the day and um, we'll have to work a way around getting him into the best positions possible. Um, other players that I'd like to see get a game, I'd like to see Ruben Vinagra get a game, um, mainly because Barry Douglas just isn't quite hitting the heights that he did earlier in the season, especially in open play. I mean, obviously his set pieces are always going to be a massive threat, but Vinagra just gives you so much more when the ball's in open play and you can get in behind defences in the same way that Doherty does. Um, but I think we're in a difficult situation because of the settled side that we've had means a lot of these players that could come in haven't had a lot of football and you know you're asking them to sort of dive in at the deep end uh, you know at the real sort of business end of the season and ask them to just perform on a whim and it's difficult for any player to do that but these are really good players you know what's the point in having a squad if you're not going to utilise it and at least if those two came in there'd be a different dynamic about the team and I think we'll freshen it up 
just about enough. Hey everyone on the old Gold and Black YouTube channel, it's Finners here and we are talking about uh, the team that I would go for on Tuesday. And the changes that I would make, I'd keep Ruddy in goal just for consistency. I don't think he's been playing great. I think a few of those goals, especially the fourth one, could have been uh, avoided uh, with a better goalkeeper in goal. You'd, I know it's all in hindsight, but uh, you never know. As for the back three, I think probably go back to Bennett instead of Bath or maybe Chuck House in there. Apart from Swansea, I thought he's been good every time he's played. Uh, but yeah, Bath didn't have a great game. I uh, really like him as a player, but just just not playing great at the moment. I thought Bennett didn't do much wrong, apart from that Fulham dodgy pass. Um, Wing-backs, I thought Douglas really wasn't on it at Villa. And uh, as a lot of people seem to say, when the wing-backs don't play great, Wolves don't play great. I thought Doherty played well, so obviously keeping him at right wing-back. But um, I'd probably keep Douglas in there just with the set pieces and all of that over Vinagra. I do like Vinagra and it's a shame not to see him on the bench recently. But um, yeah, I'd probably stick with Douglas. As for the middle two... I thought Ndai's played very well recently um, and I'm caught between two minds for Ndai and Sace, who to partner Neves, definitely Neves and then, I don't know, Ndai's normally better against the smaller teams, um, trying to get an extra man forward when they just sit 10 behind the ball, which Reading may well do. Um, but I'm probably going to go for Sace, just let him have a, a go back in there. And Dyer's been in and played very well, but the bad run, of, bad run of form has also coincided with him coming in the team, so you never know. Uh, front three, I take Bonatini out. Hasn't been great the last few games. Um, definitely stick with Jota and Cavalero. Then I'm, again, caught between two minds with uh, Jota or, not Jota, Costa or a Afobi. I'd probably give um, a phobia the edge just because of his goal at Leeds. Hasn't had a full game yet. Uh, would really like to see how he plays against a small team like Reading. Should be able to bag a few goals. But if not, Costa, I wouldn't complain at Costa playing as well, replacing Bonatini. So, yeah, that's my team. And, uh, yeah, fingers crossed for Tuesday. I think personally that the right thing to do was to start Bonatini um, because I think Benica Fobi, uh is easily marked. I think the Wolves are where they are because the three lads up front in Bonatini, Cavallero and either Jota or Elder Costa have got so much pace and are um, difficult for defenders to deal with. We don't play football that suits him. We expect our front three to work hard, to chase it and to create their own opportunities. Benica Fobi is a number nine typically and somebody else has to do the work and pick him out. We don't play long ball football. Um, and the one opportunity that we did do was the goal that he scored last week. Uh, he got on the end of and he scored. We do try too much to um, kind of walk it in or appear to walk it in. We don't take, you know, you want to see them have a pop a little more often. Um, but that didn't happen in the second half. We obviously defensively made loads of errors. Danny Bath and, and lots of people saying, well, he should never play for Wolves again. Played well again, so I thought, against Leeds. But he did make a lot of errors, and I would drop him for that very reason. Apart from that, you know, people have been commenting also about our goalkeeper. Well, all he did really was pick the ball out of the net four times. And um, and it was all pretty disappointing. I think, you know, what we have to do now is not panic. And I'm sure Nuno and the lads won't be panicking. They've just got to do the business now. Ten games to go. Get behind them. And... Um, see the job out. For me, Wolves are 2-1 paced. They make too many passes without any decisive run on goal. They remind me of a basketball team passing around the key, but no one's making the cutting run. I'd like to see the wing backs being more wing than back and their final balls hitting the penalty spot area for a runner, like Saturday's goal came. Uh, I, for me, Costa's not a striker, but would run at defenders, perhaps better than Doherty or Douglas. I'd like to see our strikers running forward onto balls. Bonatini spends too much time with his back to goal. They have to be able to change their style of play when it's not working or to suit the players on the pitch. I think a phobie would certainly mean that we would have to play in a different way if he was playing. Teams have sussed us out and we need to be able to change, to change anything. I don't think we attack with enough people. Uh, forwards or our wingers are forward but there's nobody on that penalty spot for the ball that comes into them therefore they're left to do all the attacking and all the striking too so thank you for all those contributions uh if you want to contribute to the channel then you can send you send a little clip a little video to my email address which is in the link 
down below after a game or before a game at any time and I'll try and fit them in uh, when I can. Uh, personally then, for tomorrow's game against Reading, there will be changes. Danny Bart will, I imagine, be dropped after his diabolical performance on uh, Saturday. He was really, really poor with the ball. Just silly mistakes for a captain and a leader. In a big game like that, he went missing. I thought getting booked so early in the game left him exposed at the back as well. So he will come out. Bennett, having only made a mistake against Fulham, had been fairly secure. And you can't argue with his record of clean sheets and lack of goals conceded when he was in the team between October and uh, February. So he's got to come in. In the midfield, I can't see Undai starting again. Although he played magnificently against Leeds, didn't do so well again um, on Saturday. I may be criticised for this, but I think that Morgan Gibbs-White could or should be given a start from the beginning. I think that he's what we need at this point. We need the ball being driven forward and we need the ball in the box as often as we can. Neves is extremely good at winning the ball back at the edge of our 18-yard box or in our defensive third and distributing it wisely. Morgan will pick the ball up on the halfway line and drive into their attacking third and into the 18-yard box, which is what we've lacked all season. We've been very, very good in possession, but we've lacked at times when things are getting hard somebody really driving in and I think Morgan could provide that. Also, Benikafobi I think needs to start as well. I think a few other people have said that. He's what we need at this point. He's a goal scorer. If we get the ball in the box and get him to pull the trigger as often as he can, we'll start to see some goals. We need to win some games ugly. We need to win some games 1-0, scrappy games and Benikafobi I think is the key to that. As for John Ruddy in goal, I don't know whether he still is under question. I think he was only really at fault for the fourth goal, a little toe bunt from the edge of the box on uh, Saturday. But general play, he seemed to control his area quite well and came and to collect some crosses quite well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Who would you be dropping? Who would you be bringing in for this big week now of fixtures, Reading and Burton? I think you've got to say that if we don't win these two games, then our promotion bid is very, very seriously under threat. And we won't be top either. If we win, if we don't win those two games, thank you very much. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.